Good morning, everyone. I want to talk about uh, Trilogy Metals. Uh, my name is Jim Gowans. I'm director and I'm the interim CEO for uh, Trilogy. There's forward-looking statements. Just talk about, uh, we, we have uh, two resources, two uh, significant uh, copper uh, resources, Boronite, uh, which also contains cobalt, uh, and uh, in northwest Alaska. And when you look at the, the long-term supply curves, it looks like we're going to be short of uh, copper. Quite quite un can't understand uh, the price of copper at the present time, but uh, we're definitely uh, uh, in coming up into a, a deficit uh, situation. Trilogy is up in the Ambler Mining District up in northwest Alaska. I'm very familiar with this area, having been involved in uh, the engineering, design, and uh, construction and operation of Red Dog Mine, which was a lead zinc mine uh, in, this, in, this, in the same northwest uh, area of uh, Alaska. We have about 8 million pounds of copper, uh, about 3 billion pounds of uh, zinc, and uh, a lot, about a million ounces of gold as a, as a precious metal byproduct. So. And about uh, in the Boronite deposit, we have about 77 million pounds of uh, cobalt, and we're working on that. You can see the, we're focusing on the two projects, uh, the Arctic, uh, uh, which is a pre-feasibility study, and we're currently under a feasibility study. And uh, we're also we're looking at the, the uh, Boronite deposit, which expiration uh, this is another significant deposit. The other thing about uh, the Arctic, uh, you can see from the, uh, it's got about 2.3% copper, uh, and that's an open pit mine. Uh, so it has about a 1.4 billion uh, NPV and a, and a very, about two, two year payback, so very good. In terms of our share capitalization, uh, it's we have about uh, 100 and just a lot under 140 million shares. Uh, we got a good balance sheet. We got about 26 million dollars in cash. Uh, we have uh, significant shareholding, about 21 percent to Electrum, uh, and South 32, uh, the BHP spinoff company, has about just under 12 percent. Uh, and then we have s several other uh, uh, strong shareholdings that uh, add up to about 70 percent. If you take about take uh, top uh, dozen or thereabouts. We have a strong management team uh, focused in on uh, uh, development of these two projects. Just to uh, talk about our, our partnerships, uh, having worked up in there, it's really critical that you uh, engage with, uh, with the uh, native corporations in Alaska. We're very strong and have a, a, a partnership with NANA, which is the same uh, native organization that was involved with uh, and is currently still involved with, uh, with Red Dog Mine for Tech Resources. And we also have an infrastructure uh, 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 partner with uh, ADA, which is a government uh, corporation in Alaska that's involved in the infrastructure development. They were also involved in building the road and the port facilities or financing the road and port facilities at Red Dog. You can see where we are. We're right up in the northwest corner. Uh, and you can see the, uh, the mining district way up on the, on the east side of the North Seoul Borough. Um, very stable, and uh, like I was saying before, we have a partnership with ADA. ADA is currently uh, put in um, to build the, the road. It's in permitting, and right now they're in a public comment period, so it's, it's progressing very quickly. And the third one, or you can see this one here with the public comment, uh, then the final draft of the EIS should be coming out before the end of the year. Um, and then the record of decision from BLM, uh, we, we would expect in uh, early in 2020. So moving very well. You can see where we are up in the up in the northwest corner. The the road going almost due east. It's about a 200 mile road uh, connecting to the Dalton Highway, which uh, is where the supplies go into the uh, North Slope uh, for the oil and gas uh, projects up there. The road goes down to Fairbanks, uh, and we would have containerized uh, concentrate trucking go down and then put it on the railroad, uh, which is highly under underutilized at the current time. 
uh, in Fairbanks going down to an a ice-free port in, uh, in the Anchorage. So very advantageous. You can see our three partnership. The third one is uh, South 32. They've come in about three years ago and took out a, about a 12%, 11.8% uh, shareholding in that. And we have, a, we have an option uh, deal with them <coughs> in terms of uh, uh, setting up a joint venture company. They, they, uh, it was about three years ago, they could fund, they had an option to keep funding expiration for up to three years, which they've completed that and they have to make a decision to, to opt in to, to do a joint venture with Trilogy at the end of January. So it's coming up very quick on the decision. And we anticipate that that would be, and if they do that joint venture, then they would have to uh, fund 150 million to go into the, uh, the joint venture. That would allow us uh, plenty of cash to be able to do the permitting for the Arctic, uh, do a little bit more work on the development to a pre-feasibility study for the, for the Bornite deposit, which you can see there. And the, the nice thing about uh, Trilogy is there's a whole VMS belt that's almost, uh, you can see it, it's about 70 kilometers running, uh, and w that all that belt is, uh, all the Trilogies, with the exception of the two uh, uh, sh prospects on, on either end, uh, the Sun and the sm Smucker. So we have, it's a very exciting exploration uh, belt, uh, which is all part of the uh, the company that MDAP is uh, the the uh, acronym for the that's the road that comes in from the Dalton Highway comes into the to our area. That's the first one we're looking at is the Arctic project. Uh, it's uh, located uh, on the on the uh, VMS belt on the on the call it the south facing uh, uh, foothills of the of the Brooks Range. Uh, about 43 million tons of uh, probable reserved, uh, and you can see it's pretty good. Uh, nice to have an open pit that's uh, producing two point, over 2% 2 copper, uh, and has significant uh, uh, grades of uh, gold and silver as well. This gives you a cross section of it. You can see the, the sulfide horizons, uh, lenses. Uh, the idea would be to pre strip off the top. Uh, that's about a one year pre strip, and then uh, get into the, uh, the, the mining of those uh, lenses. It's about a 12 year life stream. So. There you can see uh, on the preliminary uh, feasibility study, uh, about 1.4 billion. Uh, with about an eight percent cost of capital uh, and a very rapid payback. That gives you an idea. There's uh, there's been quite a bit of exploration, but none in here. Uh, in fact, the boronite was a known deposit when I was involved in building Red Dog, uh, and you can see there's uh, there's been a lot of exploration done over the last uh, 50 years up there. The biggest challenge was uh, the infrastructure, lack of infrastructure, getting a road to get the concentrates out. And now we're we're pretty close to to being able to have that. So we, this is the area of influence, and uh, as part of our uh, uh, partnership with uh, the Nana Corporation. And you can see the two main deposits: the Arctic uh, and the Borneo. We did a little bit of drilling on uh, the Sunshine as well, with some uh, pretty good results this summer as well. There you can see uh, another picture of it. Uh, and we've got uh, the two that have uh, 43101 uh, tech reports associated with is the Arctic and the, and the Boronite. Uh, the other ones are all showings or, or prospects uh, from uh, previous exploration. There you go. Just uh, this is the camp at Boronite. Uh, this was, uh, was discovered by uh, and, Done a bit of work on. A, they did an exploration shaft. Actually, you can still see it there, or the Kendicott back in uh, probably 50, 60 years ago. So beautiful country. This is the uh, Boronite. We're testing the northern extension. Uh, you can see that as a, it's a slight down dip, uh, and kind of been looking at that in terms of having a starter pit and then underground development. Uh, so we've been uh, drilling off that uh, with uh, co the contributions we've been getting from uh, Cell 32. 
There's our catalyst uh, coming up very, very fast. Uh, the comment period on the on the road. We should have the record of decision. We, we think by the end of uh, January, and uh, we're progressing. And the option of 32 is going to do that at the same about the same time, ironically. And we also have a feasibility study coming out in early uh, 2020. There's just kind of an idea of the re the resource scale. Thanks very much.